Hello, hello. I'm Matthew Rollins, and today I want to talk a little bit about the journey of mastery towards mastery. Uh, I'm listening to a book, an audiobook. It always sounds less intellectual for some reason to say I'm listening to an audiobook versus I'm reading an audiobook. I don't know why that is. But I love Audible. I love listening to podcasts and audiobooks. So I'm listening to Robert Greene's book called Mastery. And what it does, he does a ton of research and really breaks down some of the greats like Mozart and Leonardo da Vinci and then a number of brilliant geniuses that I've never heard of in math and science and literature. And he, he breaks he he breaks down different parts of their journey and the road that they went through towards mastery of their craft and then the journey that kind of the arc of, of mastery. You start as an unskilled person and then you be have an apprenticeship. And then as an apprentice you move towards um, he talks about like the, the creative craftsman. So you're apprenticing, you're learning skills for seven years, and you kind of push out into your own as a craftsperson, craftsman, craftswoman. And then the final part of that arc is, is the mastery of your skill. And it's just so fascinating. I find myself, I'm like, man, I really want to be a master craftsman. I want to master a set of skills. I just, I uh, so I'm in Myron Golden's coaching program. Uh, on how, and so I'm focusing on how to build a business again. I've been at this thing tinkering o- over the years. That tinkering sounds whatever, but uh, practicing building businesses, a social magazine, Airbnb, and on. And I'm fascinated by the process of how do you build a business? How do you develop lead gen? How do you create a lead generation machine? How do you develop these systems to generate leads, to convert leads to clients, to retain clients for the long term? And, you know, I started Myron Golden's coaching program in uh, April of this year. It's about six months. It's a 12-month program. And, you know, I find, and and sometimes it's hard, you know, when you're, when you're putting yourself out there, it's sometimes it's really hard to talk about the process that you're going through while you're going through it. But, you know, I find myself as I'm, again, thrusting myself into the business world of entrepreneurship and starting a business, um, it's, it's like you you dive into the ocean and there's so many skills that you need in business. You need meta skills like the ability to learn how to learn, the, the ability to the ability to observe yourself working and see what's not working. Uh, so there's there's a set of meta skills that you need to do the business. And then there's the skills of whatever business you're doing itself. So it's it's just, it's been interesting. I find myself in this, often in this state of overwhelm uh, and all the emotions that go along with it of overwhelm and feeling the chaos and confusion and anxiety and stress of diving into trying to build a business and feeling acutely the level of ignorance and unskilledness that I have just as I'm trying to master <clears throat> systems and, and these different machines of generating leads and creating valuable content and sales and how to how to package content, how to package products and services, how to build a team, you know, how to get the tech help that I need, and then how to manage myself, like all of the skills around procrastination and focus and hard work and consistency. So it's been it's been a heck of a journey these last six months and times of acute anxiety and throttling up and throttling back. Um, so I'm just I'm just putting that out there. It's it's I've been thinking about. I'd be really fascinated if you're watching this. Please like leave me a comment. First off, subscribe because I really want to build a a dialogue an ongoing dialogue through these videos. But leave me a comment let me know what your thoughts are i'm curious what are your skills that you've built where where did you, where is your place of ignorance or unskilledness and then where are you on your arc of zero skills an apprentice under a master pushing out on your own as a craftsman or really in the in these those final stages of fine tuning your master your master master skill so the light reflects on my glasses when I put them on. But um, yeah, 
So that's been my journey right now. I find myself feeling extremely unskilled, which creates uh, a, a quite a bit of anxiety and overwhelm. And I was listening to Robert Greene talk about this tonight in the book of like, hey, look, if you can just hang on, like when you're hit with the anxiety and overwhelm and like that tsunami wave flooding you, like that's where, that's the quitting point. So many people, you try once, you try twice, you're like, I suck at this. I feel, I'm embarrassed. I feel stupid. I look stupid. People are going to think I'm an idiot. Uh, This is hard work. It's not fun. Um, That's the quitting point. And it's like, man, if you can, and I'm talking this to me my, to myself. I'm like, man, if okay, Matthew, if you can just hang in there, if you can just take the suck, if you can just take the the crappy experience of sucking at all this and just let let it wash over you, just hang in there. It's gonna get better. You're gonna find a foothold somewhere in this space, and you're gonna make progress. So, this I would if you are in the process of mastery of mastering your skills, I'd love to know what are you really good at. What's your skill set and what's been your journey? Uh, Maybe I'll have you on and do an episode together. Uh, All right, y'all. That's it. That's what I'm leaving you with. The journey of mastery. It's worth it. It's painful. It's a fascinating journey. It's exposing. But uh, I think it's the only game to play is to push towards uh, mastery of rare and valuable skills, as Cal Newport would say in his book, So good they can't ignore you and deep work. All right. Love you guys.